I met a veteran along the road, walking home with heavy shopping bags. He'd reached the twilight of his years, although behind his eyes a childlike wonder flashed. He asked if I could half his heavy load, and as we strolled, he taught me of his past, of all the things he'd come to understand while fighting off in far and distant lands. I've gazed at death more times than you'd believe, he said, out of a speeding car being thrown. A sniper fixed me in the Middle East. The bullet hit a man I'll never know. My parachute failed at 10,000 feet. I fell, broke every bone from head to toe. The doctors said I'd never walk again. I've thanked my stars and stood each day since then. I asked him, in these strange, uncertain times, as the void was closing in on you, how did you calm the tempest of your mind? How did you hold your nerve and steer it through? He answered, when I was a little child, I climbed the tallest treetop that I knew. I fell and grazed my knee. I wasn't scared. It was my life. I'm pleased that I was there. You see, it's worry that's the greatest threat. More deadly than a bullet or a blade. How many rip themselves apart with fret and dig themselves into an early grave? I fell out of that plane with no regrets. New panic was no comfort, could not save. I watched the earth approach and come what may, was grateful that I walk to greet the day.